Hello everyone, this is the Flying Dutchman and you're watching Flying Dutchman Productions. We're still here at the workshop in Berlin. Um, I didn't get the chance to uh, play any more uh, Euro trucks uh, with all the Baldur's Gate going on. So, um, I, you know, I was thinking of doing a couple of missions on my own, but um, uh, I decided against it because just because uh, I want to uh, upload some more videos this week because I'm not sure how much more time I'm gonna have uh, with my thesis coming on, uh, coming on uh, this week and everything uh, happening so uh, uh, let's see if we can uh, get a delivery job here um, okay let's go to sand builders <coughs> let's see what they have in store for us <coughs> so yeah, um, I haven't really got uh, any um, earth-shattering news to uh, talk uh, talk to you about uh, today. But um, although I did um, get my um, um, my Tractors and Trucks Encyclopedia uh, last uh, Saturday. So I'm very excited about it. It's a beautiful book. Well, yeah, let's grab us an excava excavator to uh, Salzburg in Austria. See, um, see how that fares. So yeah, it's a beautiful book. It's got nice pictures and it's got all the information uh, uh, a beginner like me uh, could uh, could what? It's not very um, how do you say uh, very academic or something, but it's a uh, nice enough introduction. All right, and I've got some other books. Uh, of the sort uh, about philosophy and uh, heraldry and that kind of stuff and I, I generally like those um, kind of encyclopedic uh, introductions into a subject and I think um, I think it might be helpful all right let's just take the turn oh something happened I think my iTunes update uh, went wrong. Something's wrong with my up iTunes, but I have to say I don't really care for all the updates every week. So um, I'm just gonna ignore it. I also installed um, malware bytes, anti-malware, because um, I still, I think my computer still carries around some uh, viruses and stuff. So I hope it takes care of it, um, but I also hope it doesn't, because um, it's currently scanning, so I also hope it doesn't uh, obstruct the game too much. Look at this beauty. Look at that excavator. So um, yeah, we're going to Austria. Never been to Austria, or yeah, I think I may have been to uh, one or two towns. I could actually check. I should check because I need to check on the route as well. So we're going by Leipzig, Nuremberg, München, and Salzburg. And um, I think, oh yeah, I've been to to Graz. So uh, yeah, I've been traveling a bit east in general, but uh, I haven't really gotten too much uh, around uh, Austria, so um, I did a, f yeah, I did a delivery or two, or one to be specific, from Poland, I think, to Graz. So now we're going from Berlin. Can go a little faster. There's a colleague.
going a bit very slow. Uh, let's also see how much time we've got. We've got 22 hours. We can make it in 10, so we should have some time to uh, to rest. Um, but uh, yeah, I might do that early, but I'm not sure if that's smart actually. So uh, we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I still have to rest since the last time, so um, it might be a problem, but uh, I think we'll, we can handle it. So. been to the company yet I'm thinking of uh, going next Monday um, <clears throat> I actually yeah because um, you know I'm gonna start on the thesis seminar this week so I figured it's uh, high time at least uh, you know by next week I'll I'll have a kind of overview of how the the process, uh, the thesis writing uh, process is gonna work out, or is gonna, uh, yeah. So, um, with any luck, I, uh, you know, I, it's just I just want to be sure about everything. And uh, next Tuesday, I also have another uh, dentist appointment, but um, I think I get I can go Monday. Also, my boss told me to come in later. Um, uh, that, so I'll have some extra time maybe and uh, so I want to ask ask them about uh, if they got a job for me and if they do I have to ask them if they can put it on paper because I want to show it to the to the school in Rotterdam and to the um, logistics and transport association And uh, then I'm gonna ask them about the other guy, about the guy uh, in front of the grocery store. Just, uh, yeah, I don't want to take a risk, but at the same time, I also don't want to risk disappointing him. So I, I'd like to know beforehand if he, if he makes a chance. Um, so I'm just gonna ask, uh, ask them. Uh, but for now. Um, yeah. This week I decided to focus a little bit on my videos, um, flesh out my channel a little bit more, um, play some more Baldur's Gate. I do think it's going well, although I still have to get used to the gaming and recording process, not to play too long before, because um, you may have already noticed that I... Uh, at some point I have to take a bathroom break and that kind of stuff and then you're just sitting there waiting for me. Um, but uh, progress wise I think we did well this week. So I, yeah, I'm just playing some Euro trucks to uh, keep it an even number. They'll have uh, four videos of each game. And uh, I might also try recording some other games in the near future. I'm thinking of playing some audio surf just because um, I like music a lot and I uh, I would like to include some more music on my channel. Some music on my channel so and it would be nice to make a game out of it so um, I might do a few songs you know give you an idea of my of my tastes and that kind of stuff. Um, and as I said, I might do also some Minecraft, but uh, that depends, I think, on what kind of mood I am in and uh, what uh, day and what time it is. But I have to say, yeah, I had my doubts about making those videos, and especially for Baldur's Gate, because it's kind of 
I was wondering whether I would enjoy it, enjoy it more if I just played it for myself or just or made a video series out of it, a playthrough. Um, but uh, so far things are um, going okay and I think I can handle the, the rhythm. And I have to say I, I like my character so it would be kind of st I, I you know I think he's uh, he's something to uh, share with the world I wouldn't want to keep him for myself my my blackguard uh, guy who looks suspiciously a lot like a normal paladin um, I you know I like him and um, especially now with his second blackguard I, I think it's fun so uh, I think I'm gonna continue and see how it goes and if it if it's really uh, hopeless uh, I might just stop but I don't think uh, you know I, I think I'm getting kind of used to the Baldur's Gate logic so and the general RPG uh, thing it's been a while you know since I've uh, really played an RPG okay, I'm going pretty fast past the speed limit though, but uh, I don't want to go too fast actually. I don't want to have any accidents. So uh, yeah, um, I have to say I'm pretty happy the way things are going right now. Just in a kind of steady pace, although this week has been kind of slow for me. So I hope the thesis seminar will put some uh, <coughs> I don't know some uh, momentum in the in the game I don't know just uh, uncharted territory for me so uh, there's always a risk I think I want to make a stop at some point although actually this might but not not have been smart <coughs> but yeah we're gonna let some people pass by and then we'll go to the middle again dangerous game they're playing so uh, yeah but yeah I have to say um, I don't know ever since I got my new job and I started thinking about trucking you know I see trucks everywhere I mean they they already were everywhere obviously probably but um, I just started noticing them and especially now that I'm waking up earlier in general um, I, um, I think that also plays a role especially in Delft it's just it's full of them I, I don't know I do uh, get kind of worried my uh, cousin uh, told me uh, last night that he saw a documentary or uh, an, an, uh, 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 how do you say uh, rep uh, um, a report on uh, new new trucking technologies, transport technologies, uh, because they they say that trucking is gonna also become automated, and uh, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about that. Um, but at the same time, I don't think the technology is ready yet, so I might still have a chance to uh, to make it in the business before I have to go on autopilot. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I've heard lots of stories about uh, trucking, actually. You know, either of people who had it as a plan B or something, but did something else, or people who uh, just have all the licenses, like the guy at the grocery store, um, one of my uncles, for example, or uh, yeah, has has all the licenses as well. But he's uh, he does different work now. He works in Brazil and uh, does all kinds of alter alternative uh, stuff. I don't know. He used to be work also for a political party, the Green Left Party here in the Netherlands. Um, but um, I also heard from from my boss, for example. He told me that. He and one of my his one of my co-workers uh, went trucking through the states in a yeah in a big truck with, uh, filled with uh, LPs and stuff. So apparently, you know, apparently I'm not the only one who thinks about these kind of solutions or who has uh, thought of them, you know, or or who has considered them. Um, but yeah, I still have a long way to go. I uh, generally am the kind of guy who doesn't really like doing things other peop people have done, but on the other hand, I don't know, I think this idea is, um, ti I don't know, you know, timeless enough for me to uh, to invest in it. And I think uh, it could be worth my time, certainly. I think it would be worth my time. So I really want to make the best out of it, certainly. Um, let's see how much time we've got. I, I'm afraid we... Uh, okay, we have three hours. Let's see. Okay, we're really close to a tank station, so... Uh, we're just gonna cut this guy off. And go there. But yeah, I do need to be careful. Although... Uh, So far, we haven't had uh, much trouble, so we'll see how it goes. thing oh. no 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 what do what do you think I am I'm not uh shit sorry about that people I just got a little confused I wanted to check on my time well, it's still three hours, but it's gonna have to do. So we're just gonna take a rest here. Hopefully it won't take too much of our time. So let's sleep. Good night, everybody. And a beautiful morning to you. So we're gonna continue on our journey, as always. We're the journeymen. Five o'clock in the morning. Made a bunch of money. Oh yeah, so uh, this is uh, the new. Uh, yeah. So the next thing I think I'm gonna do is uh, buy me a garage. Um, but I think uh, that might uh, take a few deliveries more. So I think if I finish this one, I might have enough money because my uh, my my. Um, my employees also uh, make money all the time uh, but on the other hand I want to get back to the Netherlands because I want to start there with buying my garages so I might fast travel there but uh, I might also just take a delivery there hopefully if there is something um, but if I fast travel there you also have the chance that I that it will cost me some money 
and then you have the chance that I might not have enough to uh, buy me a girl, so um, yeah, we'll just have to see about that. In any case, mention Nuremberg. That's the direction I need to go to. Oh, shit, man, Jesus Christ. Be careful. Are you gonna cut me off too? What a bunch of assholes. Alright, we made it everyone. Now we need to be careful. As always. I like the color. Actually, um, yeah, so I'm uh, looking forward to uh, DLC Scandinavia, which is, I think, coming out this month. Hopefully I'll have the money by the time it comes out, but I don't think that would be too much of a problem. But uh, yeah, I'm especially uh, looking forward for uh, new weather conditions, because uh, this is only sunshine and rain. Uh, until now it has only been uh, rain and sunshine, so I would like to see some snow or some other stuff. Some mist, maybe. That kind of stuff, I don't know. I don't know what, they're, what they've put in there, maybe some uh, northern lights, you know. That would be awesome. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the vast expanse of uh, Scandinavia. These people really drive like maniacs, I mean, I, I, it's unbelievable. Okay, so we still have 8 hours, and we can make it in 5, so we should have all the time we need. Um, but I should kind of... You know... Drive a little, uh, little faster. Oh, look at these low kills, man, this is beautiful. I, I really can't wait to take you with me on a real job, actually. But that's a different story, but... Uh, yeah. Let's go a little faster. Another colleague behind us. But yeah, I don't know. For me, um, as a uh, how do you say? As a noob to trucking in general, I guess, or to driving in general, there there's plenty of stuff uh, um, for me to learn. I don't know in this game. I mean, I mean, even just the driving itself, you know, with all the road signs and the stuff. I I. I don't think it's hard, I mean, I can understand how it becomes kind of an, uh, you know, autom automatism or something, you know, that you just uh, do it out of habit. I mean, it does have something very, uh, you know, the design of the roads and how the whole uh, system fits together. It does feel intuitive to me, I think. And I mean, it's not hard, of course, you know, if you go... But you know, things like the, kind of the, um, how do you say, the optical illusions of driving, you know, because, for example, the, all you need to do to stay in the middle of the lane to uh, just keep your car in line, is to keep your steering wheel in the middle of the lane, <clears throat> even though you're not sitting in the middle, you know, you're sitting on the right or on the left, actually, um, but from your perspective, you can have an overview of the car uh, sitting in the middle of the lane, which is, um, uh, it's interesting, you know? It's just, 
purely the perspective or something. It's it's not, you know, you you'd think it uh, wouldn't it would be harder than that, but it's not it's not hard at all. And the same thing goes with the mirrors. You know, you'd think that if you look in the mirror and you see a car coming, you'd think that they're coming from from in front of you or something. But we, because of the movement in the mirror, you know, you see the the lines passing you by and disappearing in the in the horizon you know you know in what direction you are going and you know what direction the mirror shows you are going which is kind of the opposite direction but at the same time the same direction but it's just weird you know it's kind of it's an optical illusion somehow and the same I also have for example when I'm driving in England which is uh, really uh, nerve-wracking you know when I'm driving on the left side of the road or something but also on the right side you know it doesn't really matter but when somebody else comes from the opposite side and they come from a, from you know they're they're turning a corner there in front of me it looks like they're driving on my lane and I just have the tendency to go on the other lane you know even though I am already on the correct one and then when they come closer they just pass me by well, it's really weird, you know, it's these kind of things um, are interesting, I think. Because just a lot happening, and uh, but if you just stay true to the, um, to the rules, you know, just drive on your lane and uh, know what you are doing, then you're doing fine, you know, somehow. And that's... Um, I don't know, it seems like something... It's also multidisciplinary somehow, I think. You know, it's not just driving or not just driving a car. It's With all things, there's always a kind of uh, a golden mean, you know? That's kind of the, the deal, I think. And with driving, it's especially so. And also when you, you know, when you make a turn, there is a way to make the turn perfectly. Just by using the momentum you have. I'm not I'm not that good at it yet, especially in this game, uh, because as I explained to you, my steering wheel is not uh, ideal for that. But uh, I understand how it works, you know, more or less. I think so. Momentum is something we deal with every day, you know. If you just throw a rock, or just um, uh, even if you're just talking or writing or whatever, you know, you have this weird. Um, you know, you have the you, you have moments when it's difficult to explain something or to uh, do something, and then you have the zone. You know, once you get in there, every you you're just in in um, in kind of a concentration mode, and you're just doing things automatically correct. Although. Even there, you know, once you start doubting, you lose it again. And it's the same with driving, I think. And that's the whole challenge, I think, also, you know. Um, so, and that's the weird thing about uh, making it automated and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, I, I don't think a computer can imitate that, you know. Um, because it has everything to do with... Uh, with love, I think, love for one's job or something. So if you love what you're doing, it's easier to get into the zone, obviously. You know, somehow it's, and everybody knows it, everybody uh, um, already intuitively understands that, I think. And a computer couldn't fall in love with a truck, you know. You just install it there, and it um, and it works. But the fact that it works, you know, it it lacks the feeling it needs. I mean, it might be safer in certain respects because it sticks to its uh, to the lanes and to whatever. But at the same time, there might be other factors we have not considered yet. And I guess that's just a question of trial and error, obviously. But um, but the same goes for. Um, for computers themselves, you know, also. So you're always going to need a, a human hand to uh, to to um, take care of it. 
So even if you have an automated pilot, you know, you still need a, a driver to make sure everything goes uh, goes uh, well, you know. And you're probably gonna need, uh, yeah. And yeah, you know, worse yet, you're gonna need an engineer or uh, how do you say, in uh, a computer engineer to if you know if something goes wrong to fix the computer you know so it's kind of um, it makes it more complicated not um, not better necessarily and a driver also ha can you know he has experience or he gets experience so I don't know it's it's kind of a double it's and it's like that with everything you know same thing goes with um, all those jobs that are becoming automated and um, people losing their jobs, I don't know. It's the same kind of problem, so they either need to learn new skills now, you know, or you need a whole different set of uh, um, employees uh, to maintain the system, you know. Well, on the on the other hand, it's you know it wasn't necessary in the first place. So yeah, let's see how far we've gotten. München and then Salzburg. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Five hours. Oh shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, at least again my truck took most of the damage. Fucking hell with the fucking money. I don't know, I don't want to start a new now because I'm already kind of where I was in the zone. But see, that's exactly what I mean. So, if you just, uh, if you start doubting your progress and you have to uh, I don't know you know it may it may be just uh, excuses or something for not paying attention but <clears throat> it's the same thing I think you know I just was in the zone and now I got out of it and now I have to start all over again and uh, not only that I lost money as well Ugh, so yeah that's life. I, I, you know, I'm just glad it's a game and it's not reality. But I have to say, if I'm gonna drive like this in real life, it's gonna be a problem. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be a problem. This is so annoying. Well, you know, it's for the best, of course, obviously. I shouldn't um, be too reckless, as you've seen. Oh man, I really hate crashing into people, seriously. I feel, s even though it's just a game, uh, it's r it really nags at me. I want to make perfect videos, you know, but I guess I just need practice, and if I'm just gonna record this from scratch it's just gonna be a waste of time you know it's a pity it's really a pity I guess there's no shortage of money obviously but I don't know man I've already had I haven't did I even have a video without crashing I don't kinda I, I, I don't think so to be honest, it really bugs at me. Oh, 
Well, at least I'm not the only one. Look at that. Had a little accident. A little accident. Should I curse the pain away? Come on, pass me by. Fucker! Jesus Christ, what a fucking asshole. Every time, man. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Salzburg. So we're close. We're getting close. Sorry, I um, was just checking on my messages. Reading and driving, not the best combination, but uh, didn't have any accidents while doing it, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I have to say, um, playing this game in one go without saving and that kind of stuff is uh, pretty... Uh, pretty hard I mean so the 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 odds are pretty um, you know pretty great that um, I'm still gonna crash into somebody you know even if I drive carefully and uh, do everything um, it's just it's just a continued um, attention which is kind of hard to uh, to grasp, you know. I explained to you the zone, you know, but um, um, you know, it's it's not hard to get in there, but it's hard to stay in there for uh, extended periods of time. And when you're trucking, that's especially important. See, like here, I mean, I like these um, these narrow uh, roads. But there, I mean, you have to get into them in the right angle. Otherwise, you have to keep adjusting yourself like every second because it's just so narrow. Oh man, that guy was lucky. Beautiful bridge. What a beautiful scenery. Look at that. So yeah, we're off to Salzburg. Almost there, actually, probably. Yeah, almost there. how much time three hours and, and some something so uh, 35 minutes so it should be shouldn't be a problem but yeah it's kind of a long distance one anyway so um, It was kind of a risky one. Also me not having, you know, I, I haven't been there yet. Oh, look, we're at the border. With Austria. So yeah, Austria's okay. I haven't been there yet. I mean, in real life. But 
but at least we're gonna visit it in the game. So far, so good. No damage on our excavator. And we're almost there, so let's get a closer view. Hey, another loan installment paid. Whoa, it's a lot of money, man. It's gonna, I think it's gonna take a while before we can buy that garage. So it might take another mission or something. I'll see if I can get something that, that'll get me back home. Alright, let's not go too fast, let's not go too slow either. Yay, Salzburg discovered. again all right sometimes it helps to just make the uh, the turn a bit more uh, a bit broader oh shit I passed it by well you know what We're gonna make around. Yeah, we'll just go like that and then we'll. I think I have the time, so. Three hours. Look at this beauty. I love my truck in this game. I'm. I don't know, I'm not, actually not even. Um, in a hurry to drive my other trucks but I want to try them out definitely but uh, and I've tried out some different trucks anyway with uh, quick jobs but um, yeah I do want to get the achievements and stuff so you're gonna go or what what all right don't mind if I do hey hey Fucking hell, fucking asshole, Jesus Christ. Do you believe this guy? I don't, certainly. Oh. Found a DAF. Dutch automobile factory, not sure what they're doing here. So yeah. Let's get back to the delivery place. This is actually kind of a waste of time, but I hope you don't mind. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Still one more corner to go. Well, at least all the um, traffic lights are turning green for me. That's very sweet, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let's be careful here not ride in, drive it, crash into somebody. Oh, are you serious? Are you just gonna... Okay, no thanks. 
Well, that was that was very kind of him as well. So yeah, we have arrived. So let's uh, take a swing at parking this thing. Um, I, this was actually kind of uh, redundant or kind of screwed. I don't know. So let's see what we can do. Come on! You gotta be shitting me. Let's turn on the hazard warning. Very important. Okay, so I shouldn't. Let's see. Take too much of a. Come on, make me proud. Oh, shit. Alright, let's not... Um But yeah, I think we're off for a good start with this parking session. But yeah, I think this is my second uh, heavy cargo uh, again. Why is this happening? See if this helps. Why, 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 why is this happening? Ah, shit, man. Again with the crashing into. Don't you see I don't want to damage anything? Oh. Why is this so annoying? everyone mission successful more or less although I, I would say well let's not uh, make any uh, value judgments so I think I'm just gonna um, visit the um, all right let's get into cockpit mode I think I'm just gonna visit the um, repair shop which is right here and repair my truck and then uh, we'll be done for today hope we're going the right way yes I think <coughs> Alright, this time we're gonna go all the right lanes, I hope. You can stop. 
So yeah, this was quite an adventure to Salzburg. Just gonna repair our car a little. Oh, we do have enough money. Okay, so uh, you know, I might, um, hmm, I might just fast travel to uh, Rotterdam. Or no, I can't fast travel to Rotterdam. So I might just, I don't know, we'll see. I might just save here, you know, uh, repair my truck a bit and. Uh, and take a rest and um, and just do the rest uh, without recording but uh, yeah I've got some thinking to do I guess we need to buy us a garage so here we are let's do some repairing All right. Uh, service. There. Done. Let's park this thing. Good enough. So, uh, well, this been uh, this. That's it for today, uh, folks. Hope you had a good time. I certainly did. So, uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, good night.